one highlight of your presentation was a test. What was the quiz about? Well, the important thing is that in our daily work, we use the electrocardiogram. That gives you immediately an idea of what is going on with the heart of the patient. So nowadays, cardiology has spread into several sub-disciplines. Interventi cardiology, congenital cardiology, arrhythmology, heart failure, imaging. But I think it's very, very important that we as cardiologists keep on learning how to interpret the ECG well. And I saw that also here, it's not a bad idea to give courses about the electrocardiogram. How was the result of the Munich audience? Uh, I think that the, the whole meeting here was an excellent meeting. And I have the feeling that the people here that attended, they were enjoying what they were seeing and hearing. Well, there are, of course, a lot of things that will happen in the future. We will spend a lot of time in finding out whether a genetic passport of a person can help us in finding out is this a person who will develop a problem as far as the heart function is concerned, and is it possible to prevent that? That's a very important point. People become older, And that means that a lot of attention is given, and rightly so, to geriatric cardiology. How are you making the older person comfortable, and how are you uh, taking care of um, the arrhythmias that occur when people get older? Well, uh, hopefully in the future, but, but that is certainly not the case yet. Uh, we are able, and I call that to palliate, to make the patient comfortable, to make the patient live longer, but it is not, we cannot guarantee eternal life. That is for sure. And I think that maybe the, a lot of genetic information will be helpful in making us live longer and in better shape. Uh, well, it depends a bit. I think uh, uh, for an athlete, it's a useful instrument. Um, for the ordinary person, um, well, it can give you an idea whether the rhythm is perfectly regular or whether you have abnormalities of the rhythm like in atrial fibrillation. So it can help in making documentation of what is happening as far as the rhythm is concerned. And nowadays you have the ability of these instruments that, the transmit, that they transmit the information to a person who is knowledgeable and who can interpret it. Yeah, well, then you come to all the well-known uh, important points like uh, smoking and weight and uh, exercise. Uh, and you know that in people who have an elevated uh, lipid uh, fat level that you can treat cholesterol elevation. So uh, it's important that you look for the presence of a high blood pressure and you treat that. So these are all uh, things that can be of help in making us live longer and better.